uh, to our good friend, Secretary Art Togade, to Senator Cynthia Villar, to Secretary Mark Villar, to the congressmen and the mayors present here, to General Ray Beroya, actually our boss, and uh, of course to the guests this afternoon. Uh, uh, my, my job this afternoon is really just to thank the many uh, people responsible for bringing uh, the LRT one extension to, to where we are today. Uh, first of all, to our partners, the Ayala Group and uh, Macquarie for working with us and to all at LRC, headed by Ping Alfonso here, who have worked hard these last two years to uh, put this project on track as it is today. Um, of course, to our banks who, uh, who share the same vision to a Metro Bank, Security Bank, and RCBC principally for their financial support to the engineering uh, companies of Japan, Spain, and France for ensuring world class standards in the construction operations of both the existing LRT1 and later on the expansion of uh, extension of LRT1. But most of all, our heartfelt thanks to the President. President uh, Rodrigo Duterte and, of course, Secretary Tugade here and Secretary Mark Villar for their clear bias for action and decision. Actually, Metro Pacific has a full schedule of activities and construction um, many years, continuing this year. And uh, I was chatting with Secretary Villar that we just opened uh, a month ago or so uh, the uh, first part of the connector project from Valenzuela City to C3 in Manila and the connect the spur from C3 to the harbor area called R10 will be finished by the end of this year. So we will have a full connection from Valenzuela to the harbor area and therefore the trucks, there will be no truck ban needed at least for those going to the north. Our our connector from the harbor all the way to PUP in Santa Mesa and maybe all the way to Plaza de, de Lao, depending on the alignment that uh, I think Secretary Tugade has got to uh, 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 force us to agree, uh, would, would, uh, would start construction by the middle of this year. But we will inaugurate the first leg of the Calax by the middle of this year from Santa Rosa, I believe, to Bamplasan. Then uh, the C5 extension from the end of C5 all the way to Sukkot and then onwards to, to um, uh, Coastal should be finished as well within the year. Um, the, this particular extension, we had a board meeting yesterday, Ping, right? And one of the things that Ping mentioned was that we should finish the first phase 6.6 .6 kilometers by September 2022. And I told him that is something that Secretary Art will not agree. And indeed, he said we should be partially open by uh, a full year before 2022. So uh, those are your marching orders, okay? And then um, last Friday, uh, at the dinner hosted by the Spanish ambassador, the Spanish contractor for the Cebu Bridge, Akshona, we have managed to persuade them or pressure them to finish the, the uh, Cebu Bridge connecting Mactan to Cebu City before March of 2021. Because as you know, March 2021 is the 500 years of, uh, of the discovery of the Philippines by Magellan. Although the ambassador was saying that the real person who first circumnavigated the world was a Spaniard called Elcano. So he wants a separate cross for Mr. Elcano. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your attendance today. And uh, we just want to assure the government that uh, Metro Pacific is fully committed to support the Build, Build, Build program of the president and his government. So thank you so much.